Hello, I'm Ralph Cable of the Electronics for the Inquisitive Experimenter YouTube channel. In two previous videos, I spent a lot of time talking about trapped antennas. In the first video, I walked through lots of practical stuff here on trapped antenna design and build. I've put a link to this video up here in the corner for you. In the second video, I showed you how to use the free, yes, free 4NEC2 antenna modeling program to design the antenna. I've put a link to this video up in the corner here for you as well. Rather than having to wade through the other videos to see how to tune an antenna trap, I thought I'd provide a quick video here on the subject. If you have questions or comments, please feel free to add a comment to this video. I make a concerted effort to respond to every single comment. If you found this video helpful, please click on the like and don't forget to subscribe. But how do you tune an antenna trap? Here's a quick note on how to do exactly that. To begin with, you need some basic adapters. I made this one for my vector network analyzer with an end connector and a couple clips. I made this one for my antenna analyzer with an SO239 and a couple clips. And then just a very simple loop of wire. This is some number 12 wire that I just uh, grabbed out of some house wiring. Next, you need to isolate your trap from the rest of the world so that all you're going to be measuring is it. You don't want it affected by your bench top or some metal or something nearby. So I have it here suspended between my workbench on one side and my workbench on the other side. And this is my 14 megahertz trap intended to upgrade a uh, field day uh, inverted V antenna. Using our special adapter we connect our loop of wire to the input of our antenna analyzer and we loosely couple it to our trap. We then can tune the frequency of the antenna analyzer and watch for a dip in the SWR. The frequency at which the SWR is at its lowest point is the resonant frequency of the trap. This is indicating almost exactly 14 megahertz. Now with the VNA it's a similar thing. I have my loop of wire connected to my input connector and I'm loosely coupling it. Notice that the loop of wire is at right angles to our trap and loosely coupled. So you take a look at the screen. Let's uh, give ourselves a little more something to look at here. Whoa. Try again. I'm loosely coupled to the antenna trap. If the frequency is low, then you need to take your winds on your trap and spread them out just a little bit to decrease the inductance. If your frequency comes out high, you squish them together to increase. Notice that my resonant, resonant frequency of this is exactly 14 megahertz, which was the design frequency intended for this design. Now you have an idea how to tune those antenna traps. If you want more complete information on trapped antennas, then I want to encourage you to take in one or both of the previously mentioned videos on the subject. If you have found this video helpful, please click on the like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, toodaloots!